Hello, welcome to my channel again. Um, I finished Inktober. I did it. Uh, I have never done it before, and I decided to give it a shot this this year. Um, just just cause. Uh, I got me a little 3.5 by 5.5 uh, Stillman and Burns Zeta series, really thick um, paper offered by this this sketchbook company. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, yeah. So let's dig in. Day number one was poisonous. Um, I thought it was poison the whole day. It's fine. Same difference. Um, I drew the poison dart frog. I was um, watching this series on Netflix called 72 Dangerous Animals Latin America, and this was one of the animals. Uh, he didn't come close to the most dangerous animal, but he was up there. Um, he comes in all sorts of different crazy colors. I kind of wish I'd maybe tried something a little more standout-ish than navy um, on on his legs, but it's fine. It's okay. Day number two was tranquil. I decided to draw the sea of tranquility on the moon. It's kind of this like snowball or snowman looking shape on the moon. Yep. Did some stippling with a 0.25 uh, rotring isograph with white ink. It's kind of a pain because that 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 ink does get kind of thick sometimes. You just have to shake it a lot. But I was pretty happy with the way it turned out. Day number three was roasted. I drew this cat uh, feeling pretty good. And some uh, colored pencil in the background, kind of mixed some crazy trippy colors. Yeah, this cat is feeling fine. On a couple of these pages I had to use both. Most of them I did the spread across both pages. But um, some of these, in order to make room for all of them, I think it only had like 26 pages. Um, to make room for all the drawings, I had to do one per page every so often here. Which made the day go quick. Gave me a little break from, from working too hard, you know? Day four was spell. Uh, I admit I used Google Images a lot to kind of pushed me in the right direction of of ideas for drawings. Spelling bee was one of them for this day. Um, so I kind of made my own little version. There's a teenage bee tapping away on their on their phone and the adult bee trying to teach him the difference between the three theirs in English and yep. The teenager cares a whole lot. Lots of caring going on right there. Day number five was chicken. I really like these dudes. This was gouache. And pen. I know it's Inktober, so you're supposed to use ink, right? Some of these I just, you know... I threw an in ink at the end, just to say I did. But I think the whole point of Inktober anyway is to just be motivated enough to put something out there every day. No matter if it's ink or not. I don't care. Rules rules are made to be broken, right? Yeah. Day number six was drooling. Got my little monster guys, they're drooling over this little mouse over here on the other page. Mm-hmm. Delicious. 
Day seven was exhausted. I drew my little bloop guys. Having a napsy back and back back to back there. Yep, yep. Sleepy bloops. Day eight was star. Started out with uh, white rotring ink in that same pen that I used on the moon, doing little stipples around this circle. Um, I don't know, it got to be too late and I decided to switch to Posca pen, so. Um, I don't know. I, it's not my favorite, but I got some good feedback on it, so I guess you're, you know, your own worst critic or whatever. Day number nine was precious. So I learned something with this paper. It bleeds if you use certain markers. So, uh, next, next year if I do this, and I hope I do, I'll probably get like a Crescent Render book or something that doesn't bleed through. It's okay, I mean, this is salvageable. I can go over with some like you know, some yellow paint or something and just redo this page. It's no big deal. But I did scan it before starting on the next page, so it exists in history as it should be. Precious. Number nine was precious. Two little bloop ladies with their bloop babies. So cute. Number 10 was flowing. This is one of my favorites as well. Um, got my little mouthy guys. I really enjoyed drawing these lines. I essentially Googled the word flowing and got a whole bunch of like desktop looking images of crazy wave looking things, you know. And um, kind of made it my own with some colors. These are actually, some of these are watercolor pencils, which I haven't used in a while. So it was fun to play with those. Yeah, this challenge also got me to like look at my art supplies and see what I have laying around and, you know, test out some things. Be adventurous. Number 11 was Cruel. I based it off of this song by Tori Amos called Cruel. <laughs> off of uh, Choir Girl Hotel. Is it from the Choir Girl Hotel? I think so. And, um, it's one of her, her albums from the 90s. This chick is just standing there, looking at all the balloons flying and wondering why hers won't. <laughs> Number 12 was Whale. I did this one at a friend's house. We were hanging out and drinking some wine. I think this weird thing came in after the wine. I don't know. I was kind of afraid I would wake up and see that I'd ruined this drawing, but I actually kind of like this, even though I can't really explain what the heck it is. Strange wine drawings. This guy was uh, at said friend's in, in, in said friend's neighborhood. There's this dog, this little husky dog. And he, uh, he leans on the fence and just watches people as they go by. So there's like an indent in this fence. I was too lazy to draw it, but just imagine that there's an indent where his elbows, his dog elbows rest. Number 13 was guarded. There's his house and all the bushes in his yard. He's just watching, watching and waiting. Number 14 was Clock. 
Um, I just looked up, I think I looked up steampunk clocks or something on Google and found some cool images that way. I kind of forgot how a clock worked up here for a minute and was able to fix it. Luckily, you can't tell. So I don't even know why I said anything about it. Forget I said anything. Number 15 was weak. I just drew a quick little fishy in, in some string. Needing some help. He's very stuck. Getting weaker. Poor fish. And then number 16 was angular. Wrote it right there. Little spiky fish. Just made of angles. And dots. Circles. This was uh, Prismacolor markers. There's some great colors in that set, man. Really vibrant greens and yellows and stuff. <laughs> Number 17 was Swollen. I think this is one of my favorites, too. I really liked this dude. He uh, had just had a meal. This was gouache. And Posca pens. And watercolor for the background. Yeah, after so so long of using markers for the background. Actually, that might be watercolor. But markers, like the first couple pages here, the, the background is definitely markers. Those Prismacolor markers. Anyway, after a while I realized that they were bleeding through the paper really easily. Um, and, uh... So... Caught on that, that watercolors don't do that, so I started doing watercolor backgrounds for the majority of the rest of these. That was tasty. Number 18 was bottle. Just drew a bunch of wine bottles, sangria bottle. That's a really big wine bottle. That almost looks like a two liter or something, so I don't know. It's still a bottle. And there's like this essence coming out of each one of them. I really liked these ones right here. Like, I don't know, they just came out really well. Kind of intense colors, but they did what I wanted them to do. And I like the sangria bottle too, it's just... It's such an interesting shaped bottle, sangria bottles. Or at least this, like, one brand of sangria I'm familiar with that I see at the grocery store a lot. Yep. Watercolor and actually the back of this was probably marker. Probably black ink. <laughs> <clears throat> Number 19 was scorched. Uh, there's this one watercolor color that makes like i'm not sure what the name of it is but it makes these like is it, in a certain pattern the way you dab the brush down it makes cloud looking shapes um and it's just really it's like just this one color that does it just really well for me maybe that'll change but um yeah number 19 was scorched and these little trees are kind of shriveled, and I really like doing doing this pattern right here. This is kind of fun. The, the darker, couple layers of this brown on top of the original layer, to make it not look too extreme, but definitely darker and like sort of show that it's kind of a cracked area of the earth. I think this is one of my favorites. Ah, uh, I've got a couple of them. I've got a couple of favorites in this... in this book. Number 20 was Breakable. Um... Kinda... 
stole an idea from Google Images here, Tube, and made it my own, though. Uh, don't worry. Of a, an egg that's also a light bulb. Um, yeah, so that's what that is. <laughs> it kind of looks like there's some money or something pouring out of it. Yep. Breakable. Number 21 was Drain. Thought I'd draw some pipes. It's the first thing that came to mind. I don't know what this stuff is. There's like this weird gunky stuff. It's like maybe part of my eraser or something. I'm so confused. It shows up on everything, especially sketchbooks. It's like maybe something in my purse. I don't know. It's not sticky, but it just kind of... It's like this dull gray weird substance. Anyway. I remember I was watching Empire Records when I was drawing this. And and remembering how much and and why I love that movie so much. Has nothing to do with drains though. Uh Number 22 was expensive. Let me zoom in a little. This is, uh, New York City. Not New York City. San Francisco, dummy. The Golden Gate Bridge. Little cars going by on it. I've never really drawn a landscape before, but I guess this is considered a landscape. You know, no people or weird animals or whatever. This was kind of quickly drawn, too, so I was kind of surprised by how much I like it for the most part. Because, I don't know, it just... It's not something I would usually draw, I guess. And it came out looking... looking pretty good. Number 23 was muddy. I found a... Some, um... Pictures of frogs in mud. Or, you know, toads or something. In mud. And, uh... Yep. My quick drawing. Since I had to share between these two pages, so... Yeah. Number 24 was Chop. I didn't love this drawing. It felt kind of half-assed, but it's fine. You're your own worst critic, you know. He kind of looks like a chicken wing. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Whatevs. Number 25 was Prickly. This is another one I thought I kind of overdid. They're just, there's just too much going on for me to like it. I do like this little mountain bit, though. And truth be told, this did look a whole lot more contrasty before I started messing with it. I just overdid the Posca markers, man. It's fine. You win some, you lose some. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just not... I don't know. It's whatever. 26 was Stretch. I drew Long Cat. Old meme. Yep, he's coming out of, like, some sort of Dr. Seuss-looking vortex. I don't know. I like him. I was babysitting when I, when I drew him, so... Uh, I was showing the kids what I was drawing, and they were getting such a, such a kick out of this long, crazy-looking cat I was drawing. They were laughing. It was so funny. Uh, 27 was Thunder. Here's this color I was talking about. Just a little bit darker. But look, that totally looks like a cloud. Ugh, I love it. It just takes so little effort. All you gotta do is... 
mush down some of this color and it dries and it's just magically clouds. Storm clouds, at least. Yep. Thunder. You can't really draw thunder without drawing lightning, I think, so. And a couple little mushrooms. This is when I really started to get into watercolors, I think. Watercolors have kind of become my favorite medium as of late. And I think uh, this drawing was kind of the start of that. I'm just kind of dabbing colors together and see how they mix. <laughs> Number 28 was Gift. I drew a stork. Bringing a little baby to a family. I'm kind of... I was worried that I'd gotten carried away. Car I was worried that I'd gotten carried away with these colors on the dude. When they were wet, it just kind of looked like I'd overdone it, but now that it's dry, I really like like the subtle yellows. I don't know if they're subtle, but they're like four or five different colors on this bird. It just it looks neat. I like it. I'm impressed. <laughs> More playing with watercolors, really. Number 21. Wow, I'm running out of the ability to talk. Uh, number 29 was Double. And I do think that this actually is my favorite. Um, the background was a whole lot of fun to, to draw. This is like four or five layers of watercolor back here, like purples and blues, and it started out like really, really light blue, and then like a darker blue, and then a purple, and then some black. Um, these are two stars, they're called binary stars, and they orbit each other. So that's what they're doing there. And there's a neat galaxy in the background. So many little stars. I'm taking this astronomy course at a community college and really enjoying it so far. I'm not doing great in it. I've got like a B or a C or something, but it just like lets my mind wander about the mysteries of the universe. <laughs> yeah. And then number 30 was Jolt. I started to draw this image of a ram drinking some coffee on I found on Google. And then I decided, or I found that it was like kind of everywhere too, so. In that case, I really didn't want to just steal the image and make it my own, but uh. So, I don't know. Instead of drawing a ram's head, which I was having a trouble doing anyway. I just made this guy weird. He's like a nub head. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, he's, he's crazy anyway, right? Because he's had a lot of coffee. You can see his, his bloodshot eyes. Yeah. And then the last one is Slice on Halloween. Not sure what slice has to do with Halloween, but I'm for it. It's one of my toothy guys eating a big old piece of chocolate and chocolate cake with strawberry icing and the baby's like, mine? That's mine? Mine? Yeah. Background's watercolor as well. That's it. I, I finished a sketchbook. It's a small one, but it's a sketchbook nonetheless. Oh my gosh, I did it. I did it. It was one of my goals this year to finish a sketchbook. Granted, it's, it's kind of cheating because it was a sketchbook for one month, and, and, and when I set the goal, I, I meant, you know, a sketchbook that I draw in. Not necessarily every day, but throughout the year and uh you know not something that i do in one big swoop just one anyway i guess you know 
I'm working on that anyway, and I don't know. We'll see. I'm I'm so happy to have been able to do this this year. Uh, I always kind of scoffed at it for some reason. I don't know. Why would you scoff at something that uh, that people do to challenge and better themselves? I don't know. I was a dick. So so this year I decided to stop scoffing at it and just do it. So I did it. And um, yeah, I think I've developed some some pretty good habits. I've decided that watercolor is kind of my medium for now. Um, I don't know. I just learned a bunch of stuff about my own capabilities and my own like desire to be adventurous with different mediums and stuff. I mean, I knew that before, but I don't know. It was just such a a fun way to to challenge myself and see what I'm capable of. But yeah, I think that's all I've got. Um if you guys finished Inktober, feel free to like link me to your Instagram or your your uh YouTube channel or wherever you you've shared your work and I'd love to see it. Uh okay. Um gonna gonna post this now and and uh start drawing something else. I hope you guys have a lovely evening or morning or, you know, whatever you have. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>